This is the 13th section of make my seating template. I hope you have enjoyed the last 12 sections and you have learned how to create the seating template for your college and school exams. In the next two sections we are going to learn how to create the seating pattern for the arrangement of students in the hall. This is the home page and going to the detail entry page I am going to create the pattern here. And this is the default pattern which we have created and one department is followed by other the students are first filled like this that is they are filled in column c1 and then in c3 and then in c2 and then in c4 and now i'm going to give the color pattern for each department using the conditional formatting And this is the default pattern and I'm going to add the checkbox to select this pattern. So using developer you can insert the checkbox from there. And for checkbox I am going to give the name as none because there is no specific pattern it is a default one. And now we shall go to the second pattern just copy it the previous pattern and paste it below. The second pattern is ABAB style and it looks like this. Now add the second checkbox for this to select this pattern by going to the developer and selecting insert and insert the checkbox here. Coming back to temp seating one page we have the default one here and I am going to add the second pattern below this. The first thing I am going to do is insert a table. And now I like to rename this table name to table h1. Go to formulas and name manager and there you can find this table as table 1. So I am selecting that double click on it and you can see that the table refers to this O to AC so it's right and change that name to table h1. And now insert a small table below this to get the count of each department students in a hall and create seven department table here and get the count from above equal to and you have the count for each department here for department one is four and press enter for department one it is in p31 and for department two it is r31 for department 3 it will be T31, for department 4 it will be V31 and department 5 the value is in X31 and for department 6 the value is in Z31 and for department 7 the value is in AB31. And next we are going to create the combinations since we have 7 departments we are going to create 7 combinations for this. And also I am going to divide the 7 departments into 2 groups, 4 in one side and 3 in one side to make this arrangement easy. As you look here for the combination 1, group 1 has 1st department, 2nd, 3rd and 4th and for group 2 has 5, 6, 7. Now I am going to create the combination 2. For combination 2 it is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 6, 7. Like this I have created the 7 combinations and have a look on it.
and now I'm going to create the difference that is all the students in group 1 minus all the students in group 2. So I'm going to check it for all the combinations and which one gets the least value I'm going to take that particular combination for the seating purpose. So first I'm going to calculate the difference between group 1 and group 2 for combination 1. So for group 1 it is first 4 departments and minus the sum of next 3 departments and press enter. And here you have got the negative sign and I'm going to change that negative into positive. So I'm going to use ABS formula. So the ABS formula will eradicate the simple before that number. It will eradicate the sign. So we have got the positive number now using ABS. So I'm going to start all the formulas with ABS and then sum of next department 2, 3, 4, 5 and then minus department 1, 6 and 7. Likewise calculate for all other combinations till 7. After calculating the difference for all the combinations, you found that the seventh combination has the minimum difference. So I am going to take that particular combination separately. Let's use the index formula to bring that value here. So start with index formula and select that values table. And also don't forget to add the dollar symbol to make it as the absolute reference. And the row number is 1. So I am going to take it from the temp page as usual we do it. And next is the column number so use the match formula and the lookup value is the minimum of this value so use the minimum formula and select the values in the difference row so I have selected all the seven values and don't forget to add the dollar symbol once again I remind you so we have selected the difference values and exact match the match should be exact and close the bracket and enter so we have got the first value and drag it down will give the value which are the combination 7 so I am going to highlight that particular one because it is a very important one so for all the important tables I am going to give it as a low color as a next step I am going to add a table in the temp page And next based on the difference in that yellow column I am going to bring the department here using the index again that is for 1 it must be d1 for 2 it must be d2 and for 7 it must be d7 and so on so let's do it so before starting with the formula I am going to add one more thing in the O column so I am going to give the number as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Again I am going to use the index function and select the first two columns with numbers and D1 and add the dollar symbol and use the match symbol to find the row number and the match the value is 1 and select the value from that array and also log the reference for that also and it must be the exact match and then for the column number I am going to add 2 and press enter. So you have got the value and just drag it down. So we have got the department according to its value. And now I like to add several strings using concatenate function and that is select D1 and then select the first value that is H1. And finally you get D1 H1. So the string is like this D1 hatch D N H1. And once again let's bring the number of students in each department based on the department which we have according to the combination.
and finally we are going to do the last thing that we are going to insert the table in all the holes so before inserting it just select that first place where there is heist 2 and just click merge and center so there type serial number so that it can be the heading for your table so you have to do it for all the holes and go to insert and then you can press table so already it will be checked that my table has headers and click ok let's do it again for hall number 3 and uncheck merge and center there type serial number and insert the table and just keep in mind you can select that whole table by pressing ctrl shift and arrow keys Repeat the same thing for all other halls including the multipurpose hall. And finally just rename all the tables as we done for hall 1. So you have to name the tables as H2, H3, table H4, table H5. And for MPH you must name it as table MPH. So going to formulas and there name manager and then you can search your table there. You can find all the tables name here and select the table and the value refers to based on that you can find out to which department that table belongs to to which hall that table belongs to then you can change its name so i am doing it for hall 2 now and i will complete it so you can do it in the same way for all other halls and change the name of that table so that the next step becomes easier for us if you do so And that's the end and all set for the next pattern so until then be connected with us for the next video.